Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now I'm bringing God's truth to you today. Now, now let me read a scripture to you in Exodus chapter 15 and verse 26. And said, God is speaking, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Praise God. Now God said this to the children of Israel. So when they came out of Egypt and God gave them this condition, he said, look, if you will diligently hearken, that means listen and obey, see, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God. Now, what does that mean? It means God is going to be speaking. So if you will diligently listen and obey what God is saying. Now, Many people don't, don't realize this, but it is just so true. God is speaking today. See, now I want you to, to, to observe what he said. Number one, he says, diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do that which is right in his sight. See, so even scriptures let us know what is right in God's sight. You know, now when you look at a scripture like this, you'll be wondering, okay, so, so what is right in God's sight? Simple, what is right in God's sight is what he tells you to do. So, so you know, sometimes people say, I don't know how to please God. Very simple, ask him what he wants you to do and he will speak to you. When he tells you what to do, you do it and that's your pleasing him. See, so now he says, hack into the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, not in man's sight. Don't say, eh, I, I, know, I know that God knows my heart. You know, that's not an excuse not to do what is right. See, you do what is right in God's sight. And, and God has put plain his truths before us. Praise God. Now look at what he says next. He says, and will give ear to his commandments. So he gives us commandments. Now this is not talking about the Ten Commandments alone. He is talking about the things that God is going to command you to do. See, get up or don't go out today is a command from the Lord. Will you give ear to it? Or will you say, oh, no, 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 no. I have something very important I need to do, Lord. Please, and when I come back, we'll settle. I just need to go out today. But God gave you a command not to go out. He says, when, and keep all his statutes. Now, statutes are things that God have established as his ways. See, so when you study scriptures, for example, and then you realize in several places of the Bible, God healed the people. God heals his people. See, now, you look at that, you, re you realize that, look, it's a statute that God is a healer. Now, what does that mean? If anyone will call upon him with sincerity, he will hear and he will heal them. So now, it will be wrong for me to speak against the healing power of God. Now, what am I doing when I do that? I'm speaking against God's statutes. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he says, if you will keep all his statutes, then what is he going to do? He says, I will put none of these diseases. Now, this tells you something. That he has a hand in these diseases. Praise God. So he says, ah, no, it's not true. Hey, hey. He said it here, that when you obey and do all these things, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. Except you're saying he is lying here. <laughs> but you see, it's, it's, it's good to know that he has a hand in it. You know why? It means when I obey him, I've got claims to make. Oh, I wish you would understand this. He said, if I do these things, he will put none of these diseases. And let me tell you something. Coronavirus is one of them diseases. Praise God. It's one of those diseases. But he says, I will put none, 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 none. 
Now, stop asking that question. Are you trying to say that the people, that's none of your business. Your business is take up his word and do it and let him fail you. Then you have a question to ask. But when you don't take up his word and do it, and then you're sitting there and say, eh, does that mean that the people who are dying, they don't love God or God does not love them? Hey, it's none of your business, sincerely. Have you done his word and he has not done his part for you? That's the question you should be asking yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, I will put none of this disease upon you which I brought, which... I have brought upon thee Jesus, for I am the Lord that heals thee, or that heals you. He is your healer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you know what that means? I can approach him and say, Lord, I, I'm feeling weak, or I'm feeling feverish, or I'm feeling whatever feeling you're facing right now. He says, Father, I look up to you to heal my body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And what's going to happen? He is your God. Now, actually, this, 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 this is really rendered, I am the Lord, your health. Now, what does this tell me? I should not be afraid of what the world is afraid of. I should not be thinking, oh, this coronavirus is just entering everywhere. Oh, God, I don't even know where to go to. I don't even know where to touch. I don't even know who to greet. I don't even know. Oh, look, this thing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's what I've been telling you. Sit down and ask the Lord what he wants you to do now. That is what you should be asking the Lord. As for those who know their God, it is time to be strong. It is time to do exploits. And I pray over you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The wisdom of God is coming to you as regards what you should do now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will keep you safe. And he will protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.